Good morning and sliding into afternoon. Nana here, right? All right, so today it's a quick and easy card, but I'm going to show you with the blending brush how we can add a little excitement to it as well, too. And But it is still quick and easy. All right, so with that, let's go down to the hands and let's do this, right? Had a holiday yesterday. I went with you guys. We had family, did things together, and that was fun. So this is what we created on Sunday. And if you missed it, be sure to check it out because Gabe also did some origami, which was really fun and cute. And it was very nice, usable stuff. All right, so <clears throat> we're going to do the blending brush here. I'm going to show you a couple of things I did with the blending brush. And I used the mini one here because <clears throat> I really didn't need a big swath of it, right? Because what I'm doing, this is the coordinating dies that comes with the paper pumpkin that you can buy separately for the month. So, <clears throat> I wanted to use this thanks because I still have a lot of thank you notes. Now, lots of times I try to show you guys how to do this very smooth, but today I'm not wanting that. I'm wanting this to have a little bit of this where I put touch down sometimes when we do it heavy handed. But today it's going to be to our benefit, okay? I just want to show you that. So, you can make this as dark as you want, right? But I'm showing you, so I did these earlier, but see how I've left just a little bit in between? And yeah, you've got the rub hit it heavy when I first came on. Okay, we're going to use that, and I'm going to show you how we're going to use that, okay? See how it's got the light here, too, but just gives it a nice, just a nice look, right? Almost reminds me beachy, but I'm into beachy everything nowadays, so leave the beach. All right, so I'm going to put that one aside, and then I'm going to show you this one here. It's the same thing, but because we are already doing this on <coughs> peach pie, so I'm using peach pie ink on peach pie paper and as a result you're not going to see the putting down it as much because it's going to blend in more right so that's a neat thing as well too so you know you're not limited sometimes we think we just have to do white you can do it on any color you want to right you just have to know that it's going to look different so in this particular case it just looks like a darker version right so i'm just going to put it on there and you can put it as light as heavy as you want but let me show you what we get as a result so you can see I've already taken some of these, I cut some of these out because I want to show you. So this one came from here, or was it here? It came from right there. See how it matches? And this one here, did you come from here? It came from right there. And this one here, because I applied a little bit more. See, I got three different colors just by using the blending brush. Now when I came onto this side, <clears throat> See if we can match them up just as easily. Here's one, and here's the other. Now you can see, because I sat it there and applied the, the way I applied it, and I see I wanted to make sure you get just part of this. So same thing here, I didn't do it here, but if I wanted to, I would just raise this up. So part of it's really light, and then part of it's dark. So I did it more here, but you can see how it just makes a difference right here for how dark you really want to get it, vice versa. Now, let's take this and use it into making our cards, okay? So, this is just a cool way to give you different looks. And actually, what I originally thought is I would do thanks in different uh, <coughs> graduations, right? I would do it from here to here to here and to here and here. Now, this is going to be too much because I don't think it will fit on my card. I just want to show you how you can get that look and how easy it is to make a quick and easy card. So I have this left over and I'll be able to use it. All right, so here's our alternative. <clears throat> and yes, thank you, Linda Tremail. We worked on making double bows last week by using our two fingers here. So Linda and I practiced on that. Thank you, Linda, because she helped me out with that. All right, so it went for Linda Tremail. It wouldn't happen for today. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this down right here. And this is what the glue dots are for. And these little small glue dots from the kits are great for this vellum. So this vellum came in a kit, right? Go ahead and get it off here. And using these little dots are just great because you don't see them through the paper or anything. Because they're just super thin, but they are super good, right? So we're just going to put this down here. 
So basically, we're just rearranging, and I'll show you when we get through. We're rearranging from one we did the other day on Sunday. Yes, if you're door prize winner, be sure to send me your mailing address. I have Steph's, but it's a couple of the others. I don't think I have yours. So I just need you to send it to me so I can send you your door prize. All right. So we're just going to put this in, and we're just going to put this on top. And we can do some fun things, too, just by reversing this. But not today. That will be my next week type thing. Right? Because every Friday, we do an alternative. And all you do is put comments for here or from our live event on Sunday. Or even on YouTube. And we take... Well, it can be just an emoji as well, right? Because all we do is take either from remarks or emojis, anything that we can show you've been there, and we put you in the drawing. So you may say, what do we get in the drawing? Well, we usually send you kits. Usually a paper pumpkin kit. I have had someone say, you know, I don't have time to do a kit. That's fine. I just sent them the cards already made. That way you could send them out. So I know they still like to send out cards. All right, so I sent this right here. I'm going to do it right like this. All right, now we're just going to add our peaches. So I'm just going to sort of put them to the side right here for the moment. And we want to be sure to lift some, right, so that they have the 3D effect. Because that's what's important. I'm going to set them just like this for the moment, right? And let's see how we can get our thank you in there. So our thanks can be any of these, right? So I think we're going to go darker. And I'm not worried about this because this will make a cute just thank you card. We do thanks, thanks, thanks. And we'll just keep on seeing which one we like the best. All right. So it's like we get choices here the way I did this. Hello, Lourdes. But you can see the variation of the orange, right? Or the peach pie color because I kept on adding it. Like that one. I liked it darker because I wanted to get as close to the peaches as I could, okay? So that's a little bit too dark for this. But it'll still go great with it. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And I'm just going to put this up. I'm going to put this on small dimensionals, okay? So we're going to put this one down here. I'm going to put the first peach down. The glue dot. And then the next peach I'm going to put up on dimensionals. And the word thanks I'm going to put on dimensionals too. And we have our bow. And we have our bling. I like it when we have bling in our kits. Because I like bling. I like bling. Alright, let's get this up with a dimensional. These did come with dimensionals. This one came with small dimensionals, which are fine. These are great. Especially when you're using words and all, because they fit in there really easy. And we're just going to put this up here. So, right, you can do this any way you want. I'm going to do this one. Let's see if that's going to work for me. I'm still going work for me there. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this one down here at the bottom. I'm going to put it on dimensional too because it's just small and I want to be able to see it, right? Hello, Bertner. All right. So, I'm going to put thanks, like I said, with the mini dimensionals. We're just going to put it back in the back so it'll fit perfectly in here. Let's see how that's going to work. Then I'm going to have to trim that one a little bit. And I'm going to do another one right here. So at least try to do at least three, right? Just give it some good support. I'll put it on here. And then we just have our bow. So I am proud of those. So if you start seeing a bunch of double bows, you can thank Linda Tremel because I learned how to do double bows. With my fingers. Wrapping around with two of my fingers. Okay. So I'm just going to put this right here. And see, it just makes that pop and blends in with it. So that's one of the things you can do when we use the blending brush. And now I'm just going to put this right in here. And we'll use it with glue dot. And then we'll add our bling and we'll be done. And that's how easy it was to do. Now, I'm, I'm going to use all those thanks, right? So I really envision a card that's got the words thanks down straight with all those colors. Same color, right? It's just we used a blending brush and it looks different. Making it look like it's different colors. Uh, let's see, that did not look like it went off on there. Hmm. Wait a second. Ah. Okay. Alright, 
right, we'll try that again. If we don't get it off on this time, then I'll just go ahead and put it on the paper first. Then we'll go from there. Okay, there it goes. I'm not sure why the other one's giving me. We're just gonna put it right in here. So we got it right. So by doing this, with putting the peach up on a small dimensional, I'm able to tuck the bow right underneath it, as well as crossing over here. And then we'll just add our bling, and we got it. We have got it. So let's get our bling on here. Give a little extra sparkle. And I'll tell you what else would make a nice little sparkle too. Let's do it. Let's get out our Winka Stella on these peaches. That'd be really cool, right? You just give them that little sparkle. I don't know what you've got peaches going on in your area or not, but I know we need to trip over to Fredericksburg to get some peaches because they've got peaches going on over there. All right, so there we go. And that's how easy it is to make our card. So there's our double bow. There's our various things. And we got our peaches there. So I don't know about you, but I always have a need for thank yous. All right, so this is what we did today. And then if you missed us on Sunday, I wish I had this origami up here. We did these on Sunday. So as I take the things out of the way, it is here. You can see, here's what we did on Sunday, and then here's what we did today with the peaches, right? So there you go. That's what Alternative is all about, is taking what we got here and doing something differently. So I hope you enjoy that, right? It's about quick and easy today, making those thank you notes and taking it straight from the kit. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, be sure to follow us here on Facebook and share with your friends. And also be sure to follow us on Facebook instagram right and also on youtube with that be blessed look forward to seeing you next week with teach me nana and we'll make another alternative using a different technique bye and have a blessed week all right bye